All right. Well, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Devotions. This is where every weekday morning you and I, we get together, we have a little bit of coffee. I don't think Ellie likes coffee, though. We have a little bit of coffee. We get into God's Word and we grow in our love for the Lord together. Hold on, please. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's hot. We have a little bit of coffee. We get into God's Word and we grow in our love for the Lord together. That's enough. And this year, 2024, we'll make it through the books of Numbers, Deuteronomy, and Hebrews. Let's have some coffee. We'll pray, and we'll get into God's Word. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. <laughs> coffee fiend. Okay, let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for this day. We thank you for what a blessing it is to get to come together and to read your Word. Please help us. Please ins uh, take this Word, your inspired Word. And please work it in our hearts that we would understand and believe in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, how about we have Numbers chapter 21, verses 1 through 3. You ready? The king of Arad, the Canaanite, who dwelt in the south, heard that Israel was coming on the road to Atharim. Then he fought against Israel and took some of them prisoner. So Israel made a vow to Jehovah. And said, If you will indeed deliver this people into my hand, then I will utterly destroy their cities. And Yahweh listened to the voice of Israel, and delivered up the Canaanites, and they utterly destroyed them and their cities. So the name of that place was called Horma. Yeah. Horma. Uh, Horma. What do you think Horma stands for? Because Horma. Uh, no, Horma means destruction. <laughs> yeah, so Horma means destruction. So, uh, so why do you think they named the place destruction? Um, because they struck the people. That's right. They destructed the people in their place, right? Why? <laughs> why did they destruct the people in their place? Well, they came up to the city, and what did the king of the city do? Did he say, "Oh"? good i'm so glad you guys came this is wonderful nope what did he do um yeah. he fought against israel and took some of them oh no what did he do he took some of them and destroyed them well he didn't destroy them he took them prisoners no. yeah he was gonna like make them slaves or he was going to do treat them very badly. And so so the people said, God, God, please, no, don't do this. We promise if you let us go to them, we will destroy them completely. We won't take their money. We won't take their land. We won't take their clothes. We won't take their fields. We won't, we won't take their houses. We'll just, we'll devote it all to you. And the Lord says, okay. Okay. And they're allowed to do it. Wow. Yeah, because the Lord is going to save his people. Yeah. Whose victory is it? Is it the people's or is it God's? God. God's. That's right. It's God's. So what do you think? If mom, if you left here and mommy said, what did you learn in daddy's office? What would you tell her you learned about? Mm, people are showing people, but she would say yuck. She would say yuck. It's not a very pretty picture, is it? Blech. Do you wish you lived at this time? You wish you lived back then when people would destroy each other? I wish when I be living right now. Oh, you like I like living right now too cuz we we don't have a lot of war in our land. Mm. Yeah. So, we're living right here and people are warring. It people are warring in other places of the world, that's right. In places like Ukraine or in uh Gaza. So, sometimes when we're sleeping, and then they barge into our house and break our food. Well, I don't think they're gonna barge into our house and take our food because we're we live in a pretty peace-filled land right now where we live, and we live at the very center of that land too. So it'd be pretty hard for the enemies to come to us. But it's possible. Do you think we can thank God for the peace that we have? A giant story. Well, I hope there's no giants coming to steal us. But can we thank God for keeping us safe? Yes. Can we thank God for peace? Yes. 
Can we do that now? Yes. Okay. Daddy? Yes. I would always think that Diane would barge into our house, and then I would always think that a hand would come down, and I would go in the with hand, and it'd be a god. Oh, well, a giant's not going to come down with a hand and pick you up out of the house. So, ready? Well, let's pray. No, it means, I mean. That, and you thought it would be God? That God picked me up and then a giant or a bunch of all hell. No, I don't think so. Let's pray. God, we thank you so much for your protection of us. We thank you for the safety that we enjoy. Lord, we thank you that you are so kind to us. And Father, we pray that you would please help us, Lord, to enjoy the good things that you have given and to be thankful for the safety that we have. Most of all, we thank you that the war against sin is over, that Jesus defeated sin and death, and we can have life forever because of him. In Jesus' name, amen. Can you say goodbye? Bye. Thanks for listening to this week's message from God's Word for You, a ministry of Sharon R.P. Church in rural southeast Iowa. We pray that the message would be used by God to transform your faith in your life this week. If you'd like to get more information about us, feel free to go to the website, SharonRPC.org. We'd love to invite you to worship with us. Our worship time is 10 a.m. every Sunday at 25204 160th Avenue, Morning Sun, Iowa, 52640. May God richly bless you this week.